LPT add a bit of sesame oil to your cup noodles ramen to make it taste like restaurant quality. If you enjoy Asian style noodles, adding just a half teaspoon or so of sesame oil can take plain cup ramen to another level and really round out the taste. Oftentimes, with just the included powder packet in packaged noodles, the result can taste quite bland, almost like something's missing. That something is likely an aromatic oil like sesame oil that restaurants often add. But you just never realized it was sesame oil. A bottle of sesame oil from brands like Kadoya can be on the pricey side. But a few drops goes a long way. Another quick ingredient you can add is rice vinegar to give a slightly sweet acidity. Edit some other really great ingredient suggestions in the comments. Thanks all. Some of the fancier packaged ramen noodles include a small oil packet, a tablespoon of butter, sesame seeds, and a soft-boiled egg are some other quick ways to elevate ramen that most people have in their homes. Dude, like seriously a little droplet, or you're gonna have a bad time. I know I am probably in the minority but I don't like the taste of sesame oil in ramen. It always makes me wish I hadn't done it. I find the best way to make ramen taste like restaurant quality is to buy the shin black ramen. That's not in a cup and cook it on the stove and add fresh green onions to the top and freshly roasted or sautéed vegetables to it. I like mushrooms, onions, peppers, zucchini, and squash in mine but I know that's a lot for most people. Toasted sesame oil even better. Every time I go shopping at my Asian grocery market, I always get the one to a duck chopped up and separate it into five Ziploc bags in the freezer. Sesame oil is good, but a couple slices of duck with the fat and skin can make a ramen a 10-10. Duck fat for life. Yo! To add to this I spilled my bottle and a lot of drops last forever. My kitchen still smells like it. Lao Gan Ma has entered the chat. The spicy chili crisp is Mua. Chef's kiss. Go Kuchang for me. Elevates the soup flavor. Slice of ginger and garlic. Sesame oil lasts long time. And I cook a lot of stir fry. Following for ramen tips. First time ever I bought sesame oil I thought, ah that is what they use. In all honesty, if you enjoy Asian noodles, what most restaurants do is, pinch of salt, soy sauce, sugar, Asian vinegar, standard vinegar will do too. Literally just a dash. This makes a world of difference. This is the one that most people miss and couldn't figure out why their noodles don't taste as good as restaurants. Your favorite oils multiple oils is best. Spring onion oil with shallot oil is the og. Pork lard with seasoned is godly. Play around you will be surprised. Follow the above tweak and add your own thing. It opens up a whole new world. And fish sauce. Don't forget the fish sauce. Don't you tell me where to put my sesame oil. Throw in some seaweed, spring onion, soft boiled egg and whatever protein you want and bam. Even better. Some of the suggestions in this thread are completely missing the point of instant noodles. I throw in peanut butter and sriracha for a fake Thai twist. Put a small amount of oil in the pan. Mince and lightly. And I mean very lightly. Sauté some garlic in it. Make noodles as normal. It's a knockout. At Panda we also use Chinese cooking wine. If you wanted to know. Warning half a teaspoon is a huge amount of sesame oil.
Start small. Another tip for the sodium conscious throw out the extremely high sodium seasoning packet and use. Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute Mixed Seasoning Bottle in the Spice Section. Same flavoring. Zero sodium. To taste more like the packet. You can add a little better than boo your chicken flavor. Which is high in sodium but a little is still much less than the packet. I do this with top ramen all the time. We'll try adding sesame oil next time. Jesus Christ. Freshly chopped green onions guys. It will turn any ramen into something better. I am going to guess you mean toasted sesame oil. Which indeed tastes amazing. Non-toasted sesame oil is available and does not have that same great flavor. As I discovered the time I asked my girlfriend to pick up some sesame oil for me when she was going to the grocery. Chili oil or chili crisp if you can get it is even better. Sesame oil. Decido. Chopped green onions. And an egg. Any combo of these makes many canned soups taste Asian. Edit yeah. Dasida. Also. Roasted seaweed. Add that to list of things you can add. Garlic powder also does wonders for cup ramen. Always add things. Lime juice. Miso paste. Kimchi. Consider it a base. For 25 cents you can make it gourmet. Are you my 20 year son? Cause he's on a cooking streak. Likes to amp up anything with his custom spices etc. I'm sure he put some sesame oil in his ramen he other day. For his birthday he asked for Chinese five spices something. Now it's getting difficult to offer any advice in the kitchen. Mr. Proud Chef. Aside from instant ramen. I buy a pack of frozen dumplings that I steam over the water I'm boiling for the noodles. It's a nice addition to the ramen. Chunky peanut butter gives it a bit of crunch and adds a Thai peanut sauce flavor. Make sure it's roasted sesame oil. You can also hot oil. Fresh ginger. Fresh garlic. Fresh green onions. Lime juice is nice too. Taiwan Cup Noodles Master Race comes punching you in the face with flavor. They even come with actual meat. I add rice wine vinegar to a lot of takeout Chinese too to perk it up so good. Always. Like 100. I have a little bit left in the current bottle I'm using and I already bought a new one. And I add sesame seeds too. Another sesame oil tip. It's not a good cooking oil. Do not cook with it. It's a finishing oil. Who needs a Michelin star when we have sesame oil? Ramen royalty. A dash of sesame oil, a dash of fish oil, and a dash of MSG is what I add to all my ramen. Finally, a chance to impress my taste buds with budget-friendly magic. Better? Yes. Restaurant quality. Fuck no. I read that as seaman and wanted to know what restaurants you visit. Asking for a friend. Sometimes I add Quaker State in my bum to make the NASCAR seem more real. Thai chili paste is where it's at. I add a drizzle of oyster sauce. Hoisin sauce and sesame oil. It makes a boring ramen into a tasty soup. Sesame oil and fish sauce really make every dish delicious. Sesame seed oil and red pepper flakes. I can't get enough of that combo in my ramen. I know it sounds insane but whip in half a TSP of peanut butter and kewpie mayo. Life changing. Asian people yeah. Your ramen is deaf missing something. Use it when I make ramen but never with packaged noodles gonna remember next time.